Today we are going to talk about how to maximize your growing potential in a small space. And to do that, we are going to talk about trellising. In this bed, on what seems to be a garden bed here, we have all sorts of things going on here. I have my berry bushes. I have grown cherry growing here. I have squash in different stages. I have tomatoes. And to be able to grow all these things in this one bed, as you can see, I allow the squash to grow up. And if you can see here, there's already a squash right here on the vine. We also have some flowers, so we know we're in for a good production. So hopefully we get a great pollination season and we can have a great production at the end of the season. Now, up here I have this trellis and you can use anything for a trellis. You can actually use sticks. You can, ever, you can use what you have. There's nothing written in stone and if you have materials that you can use, why not go ahead and do that? I took the opportunity to use the fence right here as you can see, I just put this um, wire here that we had and I just repurposed it to make a trellis with it. And I fastened it to the fence with a couple of zip ties. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and then I have another one here that's standing straight down. That's another one of these. So we're gonna have some growing room for this run on. This is a New England sugar pumpkin variety. I started that on April 4th, and this is how it's doing. Now, I also have some different varieties of squash in my garden. These here are butternut squash, and I planted them, I don't remember, the tag is right in there somewhere. But if you look at this one here, it's thicker and it's growing longer. And I have this trellis here that I'm waiting for it to catch up to and we're going to grow this vertically on this trellis so that's how you're going to be saving your space and be able to expand your growth potential for multiple different plants so you can get a huge harvest of whatever you're growing now as you can see right here i do have another squash another variety of squash this is also another one there's a tomato in between but right here we have a trellis going up and this is from a cattle panel that we bought i also have more squash and pumpkin and these are all the winter varieties of squash and pumpkin that i have okay now i have some summer varieties summer squash varieties right here okay but these does not need trellising now i grow a lot of winter varieties of squash and that's because they're able to keep longer and I'm able to have, have a great production because the vines just run and they send out their flowers everywhere. Once you're able to keep that vine healthy, you'll get flowers, you'll get both bait males and females look at this, I have all different varieties, I have spaghetti squash, I have Moranga squash, all different varieties of squash. This is just another summer squash right here, but a different variety to the one that I just shown you. If you can see it right in there, this is another variety right here. And this is a spaghetti squash. Some of them are not labeled, but I have squash and pumpkins growing everywhere. I am happy that I did get a early start and I started all of these indoors from seeds and so now they're doing really well outside here. I know I have to make some more trellises so I can make vertical room for these to grow and to grow well. Some of them are too heavy to trellis so if I do trellis some of them I have to like tie them up and secure them really well. But I'm in for the challenge and I'm in to grow and have great production. And this right here is a moringa squash that I have growing here. We're going to be getting a squash right there. And another one right here. 
This is a different vine, which has more squash on it. Look at this. So we're in for a good production year this year, if these continue to go the way they are. And here are some of the pumpkins and squash I grew in the past. We have acorn squash, we have the acorn queen squash, then we have this moringa squash right here, butternut squash, spaghetti squash. And one of my favorites, the New England sugar pie pumpkin. The reason I grow these winter squash and pumpkins is because I can store them up and they can save for quite a while, months, if not a year. I haven't pushed it as far as a year, but I can save it for at least eight or nine months successfully. So keep growing your food, keep growing things that you can store up and that you can preserve for a long term or that you can store it up for long term. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time right here on Fifi's Journey.